Hi, and welcome to Wine Expert in Moncton. Today we're going to be showing you how we bottle wine, or how you're going to bottle your wine when you come back to see us. So I've already pre-washed 30 bottles. Um, bottles take about five or six minutes to wash when you come in. We have the machine that does it, but it's loud, so I figured I'd do it ahead of time. So we are going to be filling two bottles at a time on this machine. This morning I'm bottling my own wine that is ready to go. I'm just going to hit a button. The machine knows when to stop. The corks, we've got two different choices. I'm using today a synthetic or a plastic cork in my wine because this one's going to sit and age for quite a while. Um, we also offer an agglomerate cork, uh, which is standard with your kit. It's a regular style cork. Um, you're going to get um, about a year to two years in your bottle on that. Um, if you're doing any longer term aging, we would recommend upgrading to a synthetic or a plastic cork. So I'm just going to bump these bottles up a little bit. The bottle goes into the corking machine. This is done under air pressure. So a cork goes in the little sleeve that's in here. We hold the door closed. It goes crisp. We know it's ready to go going to give this bottle a little dry. That way there's no water bubbles under your labels or under your shrink caps. Shrink cap goes on and the label. These are great just easy peel and stick options. You don't have to soak or, or um, moisten these labels anymore. They're all self-adhesive. Very easy to come off. I'm just going to take this bottle over to our heat shrinker. So this cap is just loose on here. We need to melt it to get a nice tight seal and finish off the look and also to protect your cork from moisture. It goes into that machine. One, two, shrunk, and that's your bottle of wine finished. That's as hard as it is, folks. We're going to do this 29 more times for my own wine. Thanks for watching, and we hope to see you soon.